All right, what's going on everyone? Just um, coming back for part three, I believe, of my collection video. I'll just be going over some other pickups I've got recently and all my Saw 6 stuff and Saw 1 to 6 box sets. So we're just starting with the, um, we'll start with Saw 1 because I've got some new 4Ks. So I've got the Saw 1 Unread 4K, you get this in the US. This is uh, one I got from Target. I got it imported to Australia. So it's just basic Saw, Unread 4K, Blu-ray and 4K, obviously. We've got Billy on the front. Nice back, spine's pretty average, just regular unrated version. And it, it slip cover's actually pretty cool, I love the idea of slip covers. Wish I did more with Jigsaw. And there's the inside. Feel free to use digital code, I haven't used it, but there you go. Whoever gets it first gets it. I think it's only valid for the US as well, so there you go. And yeah, we got those two as well. Alright, let's put that back in. That's just one of the Saw 4 Ks I've got. And the second one is the Best Buy exclusive. Oh, we'll get that focusing right here. Oh, it's not focusing the best due to lighting, but there's that. It's a glossy steelbook. If I bring it out here, I wonder if that's better. There we go. Nice little TV like slip. And we've got the actual glossy steelbook of Billy the Puppet there, and Dr. Gordon and John in the background. Love this artwork, it's very nice. I'm, take it. I'm actually going to take that one out because I'm going to use that. But there are the um, discs, the 4K, and the Blu ray. And we've got some artwork in the background. I'm not even going to take the. Oh, might as well try it. I think it's just a hacksaw, and was that a leg or a. Yeah. Hacksaw in the. Um, Put it at the top right there. Not sure if you can see it, too shiny. So we got the Blu ray and the 4K. And that's that. I yeah, showed the spine too. I know some people love looking at the spine. Oh my god. It's way too dark for the lighting in here. But it just says Saw Unrated on there. You can't see it because it's so dark. The lighting is not the best. Yeah, I apologize for that. Alright, moving on. I also have both of those brand new sealed as well. Well, you know, this one it's not really sealed, but you know, in there it is. So both of those sealed. You know, this one's brand new sealed as well. All right, then we got the um, Dutch Import Saw 3 Blu-ray. I picked this up thinking it was the um, theatrical version because it has a theatrical runtime on the back, but it's just a regular unrated version. Nothing really special. There. And we got the Saw Trilogy right here. This is the um, Alliance Films one. All three features are theatrical versions, so I did eventually get my Saw 3 theatrical Blu-ray. And it's all on two discs. So one and two on one disc, so three on the other. Nothing really interesting or special about that other than all three films are theatrical. And we got the um, pretty rare um, Saw 3 Digipack. Not to be confused with a, um, what's it called, media book or anything like that. So yeah, this is the Blu-ray version. There is a um, DVD version out there, but you know, Blu-ray is better. This features both um, unrated and theatrical versions on the same disc, but the DVD has two different discs, so it's all on this disc here, and it has a nice, was a 25 page booklet. So yeah, just go through it. Got some artwork, some behind the scenes talks, some stills, all that good stuff. Got that nice poster. Talking about the director, the writers, behind the scenes and all that. And it is in um, Spanish. Unfortunately, I don't read Spanish, but I can just use um, Google Translate for that. A translator. And yeah, just mainly text. And then there's one, yeah, the John Kramer. JPEG you usually find online. But yeah, very, um, like, I wouldn't say like super, super, super rare, but yeah, it's very uncommon to find. You can find them on eBay though. But yeah, there's that one. I got another Saw Quadrilogy box set. I showed one of these in the um, other one, but this is just the second one I picked up for Dirt Sheep. 
I'm gonna go overly into it, but yeah, there's that. I'll take it out of the box. A nice 3D Billy the Puppet face. And we got that. This is um, a UK one, so yeah, we got all these. And that's pretty much it. Nothing super special about that, but I just got it for dirt cheap, and I was like, yeah. That's that. Back in its slip box. Pretty neat box set, though. All right, moving on to Saw 5. This is a single Saw 5 wide edition. This is our, um, hold up, focus, there we go. This is a um, censored theatrical version. Yeah, nothing really interesting other than the white case. And yeah, it's just been, it's just like a, um, before, I think it was just before, or just after Jigsaw came out, they released all these in the white editions, I think. And yeah, they're actually pretty decent things, but they're all just theatrical censored. So, yeah, they cut out a lot of gore and a lot of swearing in that, so not really a very interesting addition other than the cover. Moving on to Saw 6. Oh my god, just focus, there we go. We've got the Saw 6 theatrical version, DVD US, pretty standard. You can get this in a um, slipcase as well. Oh my god, that there. This is from an old damaged one that I had. And we got, it comes with the um, Saw 1 disc as well, or some do, and this is the um, Saw 6 theatrical disc. And it also has, I've got a bunch of these, nice. The um, official saw.com. Yeah, I remember that was a thing. <laughs> and the House of Jigsaw thing, but that was a fan one. All right, and that is that one. All right, next up we got the Saw 6 uncut version. Oh, if this would focus. There we go, Saw 6 uncut basically the unrated or director's cut or unrated director's cut this is from um canada the us one would wouldn't say uncut it'd just say like widescreen unrated version then under here it'd say director's cut so it's basically the exact same thing you got this nice little thing on the background well, on the back here you can remove it but i'm not going to but it's the exact same on the slip cover and you take it out of the slip cover love the idea of a slip cover and we got the saw six uncut disc i think the us discs have a lot more red and blood on there as you'll see in this next one the Australian disc and the unrated disc is the exact same. All right, Saw 6 Australian version, basic unrated, uncut. It says uncut, yeah, but it's the exact same as the unrated director's cut. Pretty much everything's the exact same. Nice little artwork here of the hand. I think it's in the UK one as well. And this is the disc artwork I was talking about for the um, unrated director's cut version. It's the exact same. And this one also, like my Saw 5 one, has removable, interchangeable artwork. You just take it out and flip it. But yeah, I much prefer the hand over the um, reverse bear trap too. Also, I want to add for this, I know a lot of people think, what does this mean? I think it's five, but they don't see the second Roman numeral here. So we've got a V and an I for six, but most people don't pick that up. Not sure why. Just a little thing I noticed that people don't understand the artwork or the um, thing for that. But it's, yeah, Roman numeral for six. All right, up next is very interesting edition I've got. Let me just back here. It's a Saw 6 Oli Bear. I think it's Taiwan or Korean. I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But yeah, it's a very nice little edition. Got the front, got the side, got the back, the other side, bottom, top. So yeah, it comes with this little um, figure right here. It's an Oli Bear. Apparently they had it with a few other movies or games or shows or something like that. I'll take it out and show it to you. I'll show you the um, disc and the DVD first. But yeah, there's nothing really in there except for a bunch of styrofoam. Nothing super, super interesting, but here's the um, cover. It's got the um, He Helped Me tagline. You don't really see that in many um, versions of Source 6 on the cover, except for, like some international ones, obviously, like this one. And this is the cover. Nothing really super interesting. And the disc itself. Very nice disc. And we'll get to the thing a lot of people really want to know. I haven't opened it, I'm not going to open it, but this is the um, little Oli Bear. Get this focusing, come on, there we go. Alright, and that's that. Nothing really super interesting, but yeah, good collector's item. <clears throat> Put this all back.
All right, on to the next one. Source 6 Steelbook. I think this is the um, German one, I believe, somewhere from Germany, Europe. Nice little RBT on the front, got the back here. It's just regular unrated, obviously. And the artwork in here is actually pretty good. You got the um, carousel bit there, and over here it's just blood splatter, so I'm not going to take the disc out, but that's that. Source 6 unrated steelbook, very nice collector's item if you want it. They're actually going for pretty cheap, about 10, 20 USD, plus, you know, postage. Very nice steelbook. Got the Source 6 wide edition, this is, um, as like the Source 5 one, this is um, theatrical censored, so it's cutting out a lot of the gore and the swearing in that. A lot of the violence. Just standard. Yep, nothing very super interesting about that one, but there you go, Source 6 Wide Edition. Now we get into the Australian version here. Source 6 says uncut, but it's basically unrated slash director's cut. Again, nothing super, super interesting about this, just the Blu-ray, one up from the DVD. Oh, it has some um, 7.1 as well. Did not know that. All right, and we got the Source 6 theatrical version here. This is the, um, oh, it's either Spanish or French. One of those two. But yeah, there's that, there's that. It's theatrical, it's source six theatrical. I think it's actually PAL theatrical, like it's stuck on there, we can easily add that out. And yeah, source six theatrical, that one there. All right, last two, we're getting to the box sets now. Got this epic Saw 1 to 6 uh, UK box set, and it has space for. Oh, come on, focus. Oh, why is this being a bitch? Alright, so we got that one there. It's the um, UK box set. I'll take this slip off because I know that's not helping with the focus there. But the slip is also um, a bit glossy and it's obviously clear. Got a nice little blood spray on the thing. It's a space for Saw 7 there. And in the back here, it's like actually kind of scratched, but that's a part of the um, artwork. And you take this out, this is meant to be stuck at it. It's just the um, back of it. It's just like what's having, like what's in there, all that. And space for Saw 7, I'll get to that in a second. You got this, you got John Kramer at the front. You got Billy the Puppet at the back. Take that out, you got the sides, just trust in him. And you got this here, very nice. You got Billy on there, you got Saw. Saw 2, Saw 3, Saw 4, Saw 5, Saw 6, and we've got the little nice little cardboard disc here. Saw the final chapter goes here, not a real disc obviously. It's just if you want to complete your box set. It should be so incomplete now because they have Jigsaw and Spiral out now. But yeah, there's that one there. Let's put this all back together. This is a pain to put in. Come on. There we go. All right, and that's that box set. All right, up next we have, well, it's actually the last one for Saw 6 or Saw 1 to 6. We have the, um, uh, you know what, German Saw 1 to 6 box set. It's the um, blood dry box set. We got that, we got that, it's got really nice artwork. I got this for very cheap, a very, oh, five, six years ago. So we got that. You can get this on Blu-ray, I think one of my friends has it on Blu-ray. I think two of them actually have it. But yeah, it tells you what they are, so director's cut, director's cut, these are all um, regular theatrical, I believe. But they are all censored, as they say there. So I'll take them out and show them to you. Yes, we're starting at six. I got source six. You can also get this and it has like a um, source seven one, but it's not included in the search. It's a single source seven thing. It kind of the source seven poster as well. And that's that. I'll show you the insides of them in a second too. I'm just showing you the arm um, things. They do also have the um, super thin sides. I'm not really a fan of the super thin sides, but you know, that's there anyway. Uh, camera's not focusing again, there we go, yep, saw three, saw two, and saw one. 
Yep. I'll start showing you the inside. It's got um pretty much the exact same artwork on the inside, except minus the um, logo that's on there. And it's bigger sized. So one, two, three, four, five, and saw six. All right, and that should really do it for the um, saw collection. For now, I'm still waiting on a few other things to arrive, so I'll do a part four, I believe, or whatever the next part for this one is. It should be still seven jigsaw and spiral, then I'll do a part five for the props and everything else I have. So, that's that. Alright, I'll see you next time.